Local 22 News. An untenable position. That's what Vermont officials say the Green Mountain State is in when it comes to education spending. Burlington school leaders are keeping that in mind as they work on a new budget. Local 22's Mike Coey joins us from the newsroom tonight with details. Hi, Mike. Hi, Lauren. Good evening to you. On average, your education tax bill will go up by 9% next year unless state level or school district officials step in. That's according to an annual forecast just out from the Vermont Department of Taxes. According to the education tax forecast, the main reason why Vermonters face tax pressure every year is that school district budgets are rising faster than property values. The situation already existed well before the pandemic, but COVID-19 has made it worse. Not doing anything in, in, in Burlington, a 13% increase in Burlington. So that's why it's going to be important for us to look at our enrollment, to continue to seek funding from the governor's office um, around the alternative sites for, for BHS. And it'll mean searching for more efficient ways to operate schools that have stagnant or declining enrollment. I do want to be plain when we're talking about efficiencies at the elementary level, we're talking about a reduction in classrooms and potentially increase in class sizes. That's how it's been in the past. The Burlington School Board has a budget presentation set for January 12th and a budget vote on the 19th. Board member Mike Fisher said that's not enough time for affected parents and teachers to hear about this and offer feedback. So at some point you have to forewarn them about that. They have to, you know, in their own minds be going, okay, this is going to affect not just my kid, but kids all over the district. Superintendent Tom Flanagan said the district is not looking at drastic reductions for next year. A strong budgetary position left over from last year is likely to help. We're going to have a very healthy surplus that is going to go a long way, in, and my hope is that it'll go especially a long way toward alleviating those extra costs we're facing in this coming year associated with um, the BHS. Flanagan told the Burlington School Board Finance Committee tonight he'll look at the timeline for next year's budget again, and by next Wednesday he'll likely come up with one that allows more time for public feedback before any vote. In the newsroom tonight, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. Teachers at King Street Center.